Hey Queens, I'm finally back with another video and I'm starting with three sections. I'm using a Cuban twist double strand style in 16 inches. As always, I'm starting in the back and I'm gonna split this section into two. I'm also gonna be using some small black foam bands to tie them up. And I'm going to leave this section alone until I get towards the end. And once I finish up, I'm going to head in the front and I'm starting on the left hand side. So for this section and the middle section, I've already began these parts before the video. So all I have to do is grab some hair and loop them through. For product, I'm using some avocado butter and some gel. Now when it comes to Molly hair, if you don't know, the hair is already separated for you. So I'm using a piece and a half so that I can get that full fluffy big twist that I'm going for. And as you can see, I'm also using the crocheting method for this style. And once I get it fully in, I add product as I go. And once again, I'm using some avocado butter for moisture and I'm using some extreme gel to hold everything together. And I also decided to give my twist some length just in case I want to switch it up. And once I got to the middle, I was still doing the same technique and still twisting them the same length. My goal for this section was to eventually use some of these sections to create a bun in the back. Now I could have just used some extra hair to create the bun, but I felt like more hair would have been too much. I also want to mention that I did do each section loose, which will allow me to loop the hair through. I also made sure that the rubber band wasn't tight on my scalp so that it won't be no pulling, no breakage, and no soreness. And before I forget, I did use only two packs for this style, and each pack cost me five. 'm done here's how it look so I'm starting in the back and first I'm going to try to pin these two back sections down a little bit and then I'm going to grab a twist one by one and I'm starting with the bottom twist of the second section and as I wrap I'm just pinning it down wherever it looks good trying to use less bobby pins as possible and by the way I'm using the open bobby pins so I'm gonna grab another twist and I'm just going to place that right on top of the first twist that I just pinned down and I kept this technique going switching sides as I go for this twist I decided to wrap it on the opposite side of the bun framing it while I pin it down Staying on the same side, I'm going to grab another twist and I'm going to place this twist, like I said, wherever it fits. Right now, I'm trying to figure out where it looks best at. And once I find a place, I'm going to pin it down.
And as I continue to pin, I see that the bun is coming along. Now that I'm getting closer to the top part of the bun, I am going to grab two more twists before I move to the front. Now that I'm in the front, my idea for this part of the style was to have everything going towards the right. Since it was too many twists, I did put some twists to the side. Now for the rest, I used the twist that was in the front and I wrapped them over the twist in the back. And I continued to do this until I had no more hair to wrap. And once I was done, I twisted all of the ends together and then I pinned it towards the back. Now for the last twist, I blended with the bun. So I just twirled it around and pinned it down. And after pinning it down, I used a few more bobby pins to pin whatever was out of place. And of course, before I go, here's how it look. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Don't forget about the bell. Also, give me a like and drop a comment. And I guess I can say I am officially back. So I will see you guys in the next one.